Hi everybody, it's Lori. I'm back with another review. I'm here to show you, that was my dog. That was my little rescue dog. I'm here to show you um, a purse I've had since probably August. I got it for my birthday from my husband. It is the Louis Vuitton Turin PM in the monogram. I think they only come in monogram anyway. Um, I've had this bag, like I said, since August and it's a beautiful bag. This is my third Louis Vuitton bag. I'm gonna see if I can push that down a little bit. This is my third Louis Vuitton bag. The first one I had was the Poppin' Court, and I think I got that in like 19, oh maybe, no that was um, 2008 or nine I think I got that. And then I sold that and my husband bought me the Graceful. For Christmas last year and I got the Graceful PM in the Pivion interior but I didn't like the way that that hung it didn't give me a lot of room between the arm and the back because the the bag is actually raised here in the middle so it didn't I couldn't wear a jacket with it and have it still fit over my shoulder so I did end up selling that bag too I mean I loved the bag but I ended up selling that and I got the Turin PM. And I got this bag in Chicago this summer and a wonderful sales um, advisor, Maria McCord, helped me get this bag. So just gonna take you through a couple of the features. Um, it has a zip closure. It has the two handles. You can wear it over the crook of your arm it has a tab right here, you can see that. It says Louis Vuitton, Paris. Now this bag has started to patina. It's getting a very nice honey patina. I did treat it with the Apple Guard only because of water spots and whatnot. I didn't, I wanted to be careful. Um, it does not come with feet. You can see how it's lined up here. Um, it's mostly pretty good. It does have pleating in the front, which I, I found I liked. I liked the pleating very much. Um, it does come with a crossbody strap. And they do say, let's see, which way does it go? It does say Louis Vuitton. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it right here, Louis Vuitton. Um, it does attach with the dog leash and the inside, um, these are the cards, here's the textile card and this is the name of the sales um, advisor. And let's see, it does come with a D-ring inside or an O-ring to attach your keys. It has two slip pockets on the back wall here, and it has a larger slip pocket on the front wall that goes probably finger deep. I mean, it's not a tight pocket. It's lined in this like plum color canvas, and it does say it has the tag here, Louis Vuitton made in Paris. I have um, the original, I have an original purchase that my husband bought me back, way back when we were dating 20 some years ago, and it is the key clay. So this key clay is probably, I don't know, 30 years old. It does need to be cleaned here with the brass cleaner. I did have this part replaced um, because it did break and they did it for me right in the store, no problem. So this piece goes in here um, and I keep it in the bag. And you can see the difference between the older canvas and the newer canvas. I mean, this is a little bit faded because it's, it is older and this is brighter, but it's basically the same. This might be a little bit greener. This also, the key clay was made in France this was made in the United States. 
Um, they don't make these in France anymore or in Europe. I think they make most of them in the United States. So if I feel the canvas on here compared to the canvas on here, it doesn't feel any thinner to me. A lot of people have stated that the newer canvas feels thinner. I don't, I don't feel it. I think they feel the same to me. Um, I also got another piece, which is my everyday. I use it every single day and I have since I got it. Um, I got it for Christmas last year also. I got the zippered card holder. This thing is, I can't even tell you. It's like a lifesaver all wrapped up in one. I keep my license and my insurance cards, the, the four cards I use the most, my bank cards and my credit card. Inside, if I have cash or if I'm carrying cash, I keep it zipped in there. I mean, it's not a, it's a tight space, so you're not gonna be able to carry a lot of money. Um, but you know, you can carry, fold it up in there. And I use it with this. I, I use this with any bag I'm carrying because it's my wallet. It's what I use as my wallet. Um, I just love it. It's just convenient. It fits in my jacket pocket if I don't wanna carry a purse with me that day. Um, some of the details on this purse, I will say, um, the pull tab here is beautiful. I haven't had any problems with the glazing. The glazing is perfect. The stitches are perfect. And I will say that the Apple Guard, um, the Apple Guard does a good job at keeping the raindrops off because I have got caught, I've got caught in a light rain with this, but I'm pretty careful about whether or not I bring it out in the pouring rain because I, I don't want to ruin it. You know, you spend a lot of money on this bag. Plus, um, I work in the school, so I don't bring it with me to school very often. I just, you know, I don't know. I just don't bring it to school with me very often. The one thing I will say that I wish was a little bit better on this bag is the zipper. It seems a little bit stiff to me, but that could be from not using it for a little while. Anyway, this is my Turin BM. Um, if you have any questions, um, if you'd like any more detail, or if you'd like to get one yourself and you want to know some more about the bag, feel free to leave me a comment down below. You can hit the subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you when I see you.